tonight. From Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Bills taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Oh, they indeed love their football here in upstate New York as you get a look inside Rocket Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. You talk about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, it's the season is starting to wind down, got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. toss here short side and he'll be brought down losing yardage back at the 40 a loss on that play and now third down gets tougher third and six you talk about this Bengals defense they enter play ranked eighth against the run in the NFL most of their challenges have come in the passing game because against the run they've been pretty darn good now you've got to figure out a way to slow down those receivers before they get downfield and maybe make a few more plays on the ball when it's in the air here's third and six looking to throw Clark he finds his man complete it's Barnett and he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion the Bills at four and five, a game under 500, and they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Second and a couple. Back to throw. Clark. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 31-yard line. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. And defensively here, it's hard to overlook the fact that this is an offense that's dead last in the NFL in rushing. So this back seven's going to be tested. Heck, might be more of a back eight. No doubt about that. And they surrender the catch here and the first down. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. Ready, 
Here's Clark on first and ten. And a quick throw here. That's complete. They'll give him four yards there. And that'll bring up second down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Operating from the gun, Clark. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bills. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. The touchdown giving them the first quarter lead. Remember, they lost a rough game two weeks ago. Then they had to sit through the open week, but a good start here. And just think about everyone around them, everyone around the organization. When you lose headed into that open week, everyone's cringing because you don't have a chance to get on the horse and ride it again for at least two weeks. Well, they were able to take that time, use it constructively, and now they're back in form. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Bengals offense here ready to rock and roll. Joe Burrow is the man at quarterback. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on some few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. On second down, quick. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Burrow looking to pass. Completes it to Quick. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. You look at this Buffalo defense. It's quite a unit, that's for sure. Number one in the NFL against the pass. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch, but nothing doing on that one. 
And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 32-yard line. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Open target here is Matthews. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now Burrow. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Spencer. Touchdown! From eight yards out. And the Bengals are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Extra point attempt to come here. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays, and it ends with a Bengals score. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Coming off every player's friend, the open week from last weekend. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Even if you're coming off of a loss as they did, the open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over it a little bit, right? Rest up the mind, rest up the body, get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager to play again, especially since they lost the last time out. They run a draw here on second down. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Looking to throw. Clark. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he's able to get out to the 32. Brought down there. Three yards all down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Bills send the punter out as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And the Bengals take over first and 10. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. Here we go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So no gain on the play. And third and eight now. Now it's 
it's Burrow. He's got Quinn. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. A short gain that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Brown with his stick skills. 35 yards that time on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Throw out wide is incomplete. A great job defensively taking away his receivers, and he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie, but that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's complete. Bernard. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. That catch for his career is number 589, so 11 away from 600, but it also right now ties him with Hall of Famer Fred Boletnikoff. And we remember Fred Boletnikoff well because of the way he went about his business in catching the football. And we're seeing something similar here. Someone who runs precise routes, has excellent hands, and knows how to get the ball to the end zone. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I will hear about that from him soon. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. down to the 36-yard line here. Now Clark. To throw on second down. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Now Clark to throw, throwing on first down. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Here's a second and eight. And here's a handoff out of the gun. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Back to throw. Clark. And that one to the right side and incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down as his Cincy defense stands up on third. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. His kick is good. And the Bills have taken the lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted, 
They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Here we go. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He finds his man complete. That's Spencer. Now the Bengals urging everybody to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now we'll throw here to his running back. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. First down now, but the clock continues to move. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And Burrow's saying, let's go, let's go. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 31-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They will throw on first down with Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Second and ten. Now a handoff up the middle, quick. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Here's Burrow. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Fourth down, so Zach Taylor sends out the field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will knot us up at 10. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Clark throwing to start the drive. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. A big play there. 72 yards. And the Bills will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a 
great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Now the extra point try forthcoming. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Now Burrow on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Spencer. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. First down, here's Burrow. They're throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Now a second and 10. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He's going to sling this deep downfield, and that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. He's going to take another shot here. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park with the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta, where it was the visiting Cowboys who got the win on the road. Trevor Lawrence, strong in the win, as his guys run their record to 8-2 with the W. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were losers in that game as they fall to the visiting Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes leading the way there as the win gets his guys back to 500 on the year. And finally, on Monday Night Football, they've got a good one lined up between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Las Vegas Raiders. Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. One touchdown is the difference. 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Well, the Bengal offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. He finds his man complete. It's Spencer. Yeah. 
So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Burrow. And that almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Now Brown. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Throwing to start the drive. Clark. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Bengals grab it. Now inside the 25. And this is taken into the end zone. A fumble recovery and a Cincinnati touchdown. So they were down by a touchdown, probably just hoping the defense could hold them, maybe force the punt. Instead, they force the turnover and take it into the house. Well, the plan was perfect. That's exactly what they wanted. Instead, they got a lot more than that. Big-time capitalization by taking the ball away and putting it in the end zone. Now the extra point. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. The kick is good. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. 17-17 the score, all even to this point as the kick's away. Fighting through at the 25. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Barnett. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Looking to throw. Clark firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Back to throw. Clark. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Operating from the gun. Clark. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Back to throw again. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing again. Clark. And he comes back with, oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. And the Bengals grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
And at this stage in the game, sure, you wanted the touchdown. You're already in the red zone, but boy, you squandered a chance to at least get the field goal there. So no points out of this, and we stay tied. Very disappointed team. No one more disappointed than the kicker. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. They'll try again. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. A great play there with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bills have broken the tie. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Now for the point after. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that drives seven plays in length, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Turn this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Burrow will throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. now burrow on first down buying and he can't get rid of it he's taken down the sack recorded it's a loss of five and now it's second down i thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that but that pocket closed a little too quickly and down he went yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Now it's Burrow. Left side caught by Matthews. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 41 yard line. 
10 yards there on a Bengal first. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 41. Slot man moves right. They'll fake the jet sweep and go play action with Burrow. And Matthews makes a grab. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A gain of 32 that time. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field, pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. To the air again, Burrow. Touchdown, Bengals! A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Bengals are an extra point away from drawing level. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. So that winds up a seven-play drive, all told. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bills going to take over again on offense. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 49 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Looking to throw, Clark. Looking left side, it's complete, he's got it. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards the pick up there. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Back to throw. Clark, he finds his man complete. It's Barnett. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. And the Bills will move the chains. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. A field goal could get them the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. They'll try to run this one in. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try to run this one in, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Extra point splits the uprights, and they will take a seven-point lead. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. He finds his man complete. That's Wood. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Up the middle they go. Quick. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. It's Burrow. Now he's forced out right. And this is hauled in by Matthews. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. So the illegal forward pass also cost him a down, and now it's second and long. They'll try the left side. Quick. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. And the Bengals on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. They go play action with Burrow. And that is incomplete. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. Now a play fake here on first down. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Yeah. 
multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Looking to throw. Clark. And shedding through the tackle. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good gain. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Hit as he throws, he lost the football, it's loose. <laughs> Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals offense returns to the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And this is going to be intercepted. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. Clark now on first down. A quick throw, but incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw, Clark. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Tui, Tui Pelotu. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. But it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Looking to throw. Clark, he's going to loft one deep left side here. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. The Bengals are right back in this football game. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He gets it to Matthews. Complete. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. On second down, Burrow. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. 
And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Here's second down. Burrow. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. They'll come up now. This is second and long. He finds his man complete. That's Wood. This Buffalo crowd letting him have it. Third down now. He's brought down after a pickup of five, but he needed eight. Fourth down. And Burrow's saying, let's go, let's go. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Bills are going to get the football back. Now that's just simply good coaching and excellent technique on that play. You know why? Because everyone wants to rush the passer when they want to throw the football, but you're not always going to get there. So what are you taught to do? When the ball's finally thrown, get your hands up in the passing lanes, and they batted that one away. No, 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 no. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with 13 seconds left to play. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. And they take a knee. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late, and they have to suffer the L here. Certainly felt like that takeaway, once it happened, it knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. So for Buffalo, it's a win that might keep them alive in the playoff race as they're back to 500 at 5-5. Five and five. And they'll get another home date next week as the Patriots will come to town. Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, it's a loss that will drop them back to 500 through 10 games. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Baltimore Ravens. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Buffalo.